that be the game Same nigga I used to be Fried niggas get used to me Dead man if you fool with me Say that for your eulogy Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Vel And we are back with another Mobile Legends video, man So, if you're part of the Vel family Go ahead and drop that thumbs up Your boy's back If you don't know where I have been And you haven't been in the streams um, I've been on vacation. I've been away for a little bit, man. Just chilling, relaxing, relaxing, taking some time to clear my head and stuff like that. And trying to get my my energy back right, man. Because it's it's been like, I don't know. It's been a lot going on. A lot going on in real life. Um, as you all know, a, a lot of people who actually know me, who actually have been supporting me for a long time, people know that I've been acting a little bit different. I've been a lot more mad. I've been trolling next level. Like, really just been very very negative lately and it's a lot going on i'm not even gonna like go into the sob stories about really what's going on in my life about how i don't know my, my grandma's been sick my auntie might have um a life ending disease it's just it's a lot of stuff that's been going on bro it's just a lot that's been going on i've been worried about my family but i need to i needed to some time to really just process everything and really just think about some stuff so um, yeah, anyway, we're back before we just stay on the negative topics and stuff like that I do want to get into some mobile legends. So I've as you all have known I've been playing a lot more. Um, I hit the leaderboards top of the leaderboards it, I, I have some screenshots of when I was on the top of the leaderboards. Um, they were local leaderboards obviously not global I've never tried that hard, but um, yeah, I can show you all some of that if you all want to see that the screenshots um, but anyway, this is going to be about Harith a lot of people have been telling me, like, every time I try to pick Harith in a game, everyone says, he's been nerfed, he's been nerfed. Listen, when a hero is overpowered to the point where he's one of the most powerful heroes in the game and he's always banned, and then they get nerfed, that does not mean that the hero becomes completely useless. That means that the hero becomes an actual good hero. Like, so he went from being a god hero to a good hero. So, don't think that just because a hero has been nerfed that that means that they're absolutely useless man so basically what's happened is harith has gone from being a hero that's just like he takes no skill to use because with with that stun if you aim the stun right and you stun everybody on the enemy team like they can literally do nothing to defend themselves you literally can't be stopped but now he just simply needs skill to use like, that's the only difference between now and how Harith used to be, is he really actually needs skill to use. That There's no longer, okay, stun everybody near me. They can't do absolutely nothing. No, you actually have to be good now. And I think that that's what happens when heroes get nerfed a lot of times. Um, people are used to just using overpowered heroes where you don't requ require skill at all to basically use these heroes. Then when they actually make the hero just a good hero where it does require skill, a lot of people can't play the hero anymore because those people were never actually good to begin with. They're just really good at, at abusing bugs and stuff like that. And listen, when people don't know that they're not that good at Mobile Legends, I never actually blame the people. I blame Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends just makes it so easy for people to use an overpowered hero, not actually know how to play the game, but because they're mechanically good with an overpowered hero, they can, they're able to rank up and stuff like that. But they're like, it's a lot of people who just are never actually good and never really understand how to play Mobile Legends, the objectives and stuff like that. So we're going to be back dropping a lot of crazy content about like um ranking up about farming fast like so so many other tips and stuff that i've been using to really rank up and stuff and just the my whole experience playing mobile legends but this is some hair gameplay um this gameplay is it's actually a pretty decent gameplay i i was mid lane with grok as you can see like i think i'm pretty sure this grok was doing some weird stuff though yeah um he was doing some weird stuff he wasn't roaming with me like we should have been right here i'm trying to follow him i see he's ganking this team over here so i'm waiting for johnson to hit them then i'm gonna step up throw my ultimate in i'm pretty sure and then just go crazy yeah and as you can see i'm kind of staying close but at the same time i'm kind of kiting that argus at the same time waiting for his ultimate to go down and now i gotta get out of there so yeah, um, as you can see, we're we're not doing too crazy right now. It, it starts off slow. The thing, the reason that um, Harith is not in the meta. If you see a lot of the pro players and pro teams not using them anymore, it's because when you play at a pro level, the the meta is 
very, very fast paced. It's not slow paced whatsoever. You can't use marksmen like Leslie. You can't use you can't use a lot of marksmen. Marksmen, like you have to be able to use heroes that's really actually effective early on in the game. And it's not many marksmen that are. That's why there's really only freaking Carrie and Claude that's being used because they're very, very good early game. And early game like you're constantly fighting you're going to be fighting for crabs you're going to be fighting for lords you're going to be fighting for turtle you're going to be fighting for your own buffs sometimes in your jungle if the other team is invading and stuff like that if you get a if you let the enemy team get a team like um kaya and chow or kaya and grok or something they're probably going to be invading taking your jungle and all types of stuff so you're going to be fighting for pretty pretty much everything that you get in this game so um yeah, that, that's basically how it plays, how the gameplay plays at a higher level. Um, it's it's definitely different. Like, I, I don't think, honestly, even if you're like Legend, if you're like Legend and low stars into Mythic, you really don't get the experience, the same experience as how Mobile Legends is actually played. Like, it, it, you really do have to play, be playing against top tier players and top global players and stuff like that, which, because of who I play with now, um, most of the time I'm playing against leaderboard players and stuff like that so that's been fun it's been a different experience i have actually been learning a lot playing with these guys too so um yeah it's, it's been a fun experience and honestly mobile legends is a lot more fun that way it's just not as boring as struck like look at this like as you can see right now i mean we're kind of having some engagements here and there but these engagements aren't really good that what that's going on right now they I, like i'm having a lot of time to just farm and stuff like that like when you're playing against good high level leaderboard teams, I would be kind of nervous to walk into my jungle and take the stuff and stuff like that because they would literally be all over that. Um, but yeah, man, it's just, it's a lot of differences and I'm gonna be making more videos. I can't tell you all, all the differences. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die right here. Oh no, this is the one that was weird because obviously when I was actually in the game, I couldn't see Natalia standing right there. But it's weird that Natalia literally was standing right next to me and she didn't hit me. Like, I don't even know what she was just doing right there. Natalia probably could have killed me. But, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot more videos. Um, going over a lot more with you all, man. Um, I just had to get back in the right mindset and really just start back being myself. <laughs> you know? Like, that's really what I needed to do, man, because it's just been, <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, we, we at the seven-minute mark. I'm farming pretty good right now. Um, I'm the most fed one on my team. I'm almost the most fed one in the game. Well, Harley is doing really well. So, yeah. And I didn't know she couldn't get, like, she can't get hit by nothing. Like, I'm destroying her, though, low-key. She getting clapped. Harley's been doing pretty well. Look at this. Harley, I knew he was going to come back. I was trying to go for Harley. Yep. <laughs> then Grok. See, every time Grok is near me, we make some plays together. Like, that's all you have to do. If you got, like, a Grok and you roaming with a Grok, most of the people on the other team, like Grok and Harris, most of the people on the other team is easy kills. But me and Grok weren't together this whole game a lot of the times. So yeah, but yeah, man, it's I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die here soon. I forgot what kills me. Um, this I this gameplay I got this gameplay like a day or two ago. So yeah, I have another one coming. I have a um what did I use? Claude gameplay. It was a crazy gameplay that's gonna be coming up on the channel soon, man. So um also let's get this video to 500 likes once we get this video to 500 likes i'm going to be dropping the claw gameplay basically what happened in that gameplay is we almost lost the game but what i was doing was i i was pushing the game forward moving the game forward and all that stuff and a lot of people thought that oh Vale has like only one kill and one assist and it's like it's later later on in the game that they, like he's not doing absolutely nothing but what happens is because I'm pushing the lanes forward and stuff like that, I'm basically controlling what the enemy team does the entire game. And people aren't, aren't really realizing what I was doing. So the team was complaining. And then towards the end of the game, when I come back and just start, start slaying everybody out because it's a logical, it's a basically a smart time to start engaging and stuff. So that's when I engage. 
people are surprised at the end of the game when I have like crazy stats. And yeah, like it was it was just a really good gameplay. It was a really good gameplay and there was a lot to be learned because people think that you're just supposed to be fighting and stuff the whole game. People forget that this game is all about pushing up towers. It's pushing up towers, controlling the map, and basically being in control. It's a game of control. You should be in control. You should be forcing the enemy team to do what you want them to do. And that's an aspect of the game that a lot of people don't do. A lot of people just go for kills. Because if you're not going for kills, if you have a bad KD, people will trash talk you and all that. And yeah, I mean... Sometimes you just have to ignore people. People don't know that they don't... People don't know what they don't know. If that makes any sense. People just really don't know what they don't know. So instead of trying to explain to somebody, oh, it's smarter to push a tower, just push the towers because you know that they need to be pushed in certain situations. But it's a very fine line because you could be making a huge mistake a lot of times. But, I mean, those are mistakes that you have to make so you can learn. But, um, yeah, so that's a really good gameplay that's going to be coming up on the channel soon, man. Um, we got a few more sponsored videos coming as well, y'all. So that's going to be crazy. It, like, we've been getting hit up to do, play a bunch of really good games lately. So, yeah, I'm going to keep y'all updated on that. This video is really just, it is a video about Harith, but it's really an update video as well. Um, as you can see, I'm about to go and engage them over here. I see my team needs some help. I'm ready for, um, I don't know what type of flicker Harley just did, but yeah. Oh, uh, he's, he's dead, dead. He thought it was sweet out here. He just hit his ultimate. And that ruby, that ruby, um, hook was amazing. That ruby grab, that was crazy. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm just outputting a lot of damage. I'm outputting as much damage as possible. Now the team is sticking together at this point in the game. So it's pretty easy at this point. Like, honestly, I'm pretty fed right now. I'm pretty fed. Well, actually, I'm not more fed than anybody on the other team, I don't think. I'm, I caught up to Harley, but yeah, I'm just like, Harith is still just super powerful. Like, I can be, I can have the same gold as them, and it's just really not fair. Harith is just a lot better. He's a lot better when it comes to power than the other team. Harith is still a really, really powerful hero. And that's what people are sleeping on. They think because he don't have that stun no more, he's a bad hero now or something. No. He's still not necessarily fair. You just have to be good. He just requires a little bit more skill now. That's all. So, yeah. When a hero gets nerfed, just don't assume that the hero is bad all of a sudden or something like that. Because that's not always the case. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Ruby came up, and I clapped him, and I'm going to push the mid lane forward. I see my team's going straight for the kills again, and I mean, that's cool, so I'm just going to push this lane forward. I see, like, Ruby's going for top lane, the rest of my teammates going for bottom lane, so I'm going to push the game forward. Um, that's always what I look to do. I look for the opportunity to push the towers forward, because I know one of two things are going to happen. I'm either going to take a tower... Or I'm going to force uh, the enemies to come close to me. Look at this. I'm going to clap her. <laughs> and look, I saw him get in those bushes over there. I don't know how I saw that, but I saw somebody in those bushes. So I took the long way around and got back close to my team. So, yeah. But it's just a lot of... um. A lot of small decisions, man. A lot of small decisions. Like, I'm taking this buff right now, so... They won't get it. Um, now we finna have another little fight right here. Hit that ultimate. I'm finna try to... Um, I'm finna focus the tank, honestly. I'm focusing the tank right now. He jumped back in the way. Argus is pretty annoying. I don't know why he's still trying to fight that. He's literally haven't taken any damage from me. So, yeah. As you can see, they can't really beat us in the fight right now. Like I'm very, I'm very much too tanky for them to pretty, for, for, them, for them to try to take on. So, yeah. So this was a pretty decent gameplay. This is this was a decent gameplay with Harith. Um, this was what I think I was like Legend Two or something like that. So, yeah, this was fun.
this is the end of the gameplay here. I'll show you all the end stats here. And yeah, like this was a really, really fun game, man. Um, did well. Let me see. All right, and here we go. So, oh wait, I'm, I'm over here. I forgot they did some weird stuff with it now. All right, so I did 66,000 damage. I dealt the most damage on the team. Um, obviously, as a mid laner, you're supposed to be doing a lot of damage because you start from early on throughout the game dealing damage when you're the mid laner. So I was mid laning with Grok. I'm pretty sure Grok dealt a lot of damage too. Yeah, me and Grok together, we dealt a lot of damage because we would come together at times and get to clapping people. Then we would go off separate and do random stuff. Um, but yeah, we did pretty well. Um, I pushed up a little bit of towers. Um, as a mid laner, I really just try to focus on ganks and farming and just trying to help the team and I'll put as much damage as possible. And yeah, you see, as you can see, I took a decent amount of damage too. I took 70,000 damage because Harith can still take that type of damage. Harith is still really good. I took, like, I took as much damage as him and I didn't die and I wasn't dying. Like, he was dying when he was taking that damage. Like, so... Basically, I like it, it was a pretty good performance, man. But let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, also, what other topics do you want me to talk about? Is there anything going on in the community that you want me to talk about and make a video on? Let me know. Um, thanks for all the love and support, and thanks for watching, man. Definitely appreciate that, y'all. I've missed y'all. We back, though. <laughs> but, yeah, go ahead and drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, y'all. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family. I want it. So they'll never need hope or want